um, what it says on, on the, because I looked that up when I was talking to them yesterday. Okay, so not the doctors, sorry. Um, not the doctors, but Lindsay, do you remember her who did, um, she was Brindle's foster mom? Remember Brindle? She was a shepherdy. Yeah, right, right, right. I remember Brindle. So she came in yesterday specifically. She came in Friday to meet him and didn't realize that he was stuck at PAC because of the neuter surgery. So she came back with her husband and family yesterday yeah, yeah. and met him, and he was one that she was considering. And she she just texted today? me. She said, hello, if Lou is still at TRN today, would we be able to apply TRN to foster him, or does that need to take place at PAC or after he gets dropped off? Get your ass here now. <laughs> I'm going to take yeah. And tell her if she doesn't come, I'm taking them. <laughs> <laughs> Lou with the boy. No, I'm not. I can't. You can't do the stairs. Someone needs to take Lewis so Bonnie doesn't have to keep picking him up and putting him in the car. So there was the other, that other foster that I was telling you guys about earlier that I didn't like for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she was really smotty about it. And so I talked to some of the other PAC volunteers that were dealing with that woman. And I said, listen, I've got somebody who is an experienced PAC foster. I know She's, it. She does great things. I mean, she, she always took fun pictures of Brindle, um, videos of her, and she networks. And then she would bring the dog back and forth here each week, a couple mm -hmm. times a week. Right. So that means that she'll still bring him here with the hopes of us finding Good. somebody and Good. then she does all of the things that she does. So, so she actually like helps case you. scenario is like an active foster. Right. Like that's, that's how it should That's right. exactly. We want fosters that will take them to the shows. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, I'd like to say it's all because he's blind, but I actually don't think it's just because of that. <laughs> that dog's derpy. Uh, I kind of think even with vision, he'd still be kind of on the dark side. There's nobody home. No. There's nobody <laughs> home. Oh, Hickory, you are a character. You need a much better name, something that better reflects your goofiness, because Hickory doesn't do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit my sister up for some money here. Let's see what we can do for us. It's blue. He's getting fostered today. Mincy just got adopted, and we need money. You are to the point. You are to the point. So we had somebody that had come in yesterday that we thought was going to um, potentially adopt today, but I haven't heard back from them and I was wanting my text so I can maybe just change their mind. But that's okay. I, I got so excited just now when I saw your, your text. I'm like, oh, because there was somebody else that was interested in fostering him and I, I talked to Kathy Newman yesterday and I said, so listen, I said, Lindsay is thinking about um, fostering him. She says, why is that new fostering I said, it was Brindle's uh, foster. She said, oh! Oh, that's so much better. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he, he is still here right now. Um, so here's the thing. We can, whatever is easier for you, the only thing is, is that he is going to need his meds. Um, so we can do um, a couple of ways. <coughs> so I can call and I can have them filled. Um, and you can go down there to get them. Um, if you want to pick him up here and then go there, or if you want me to just bring him back and I will let them know that you're... Or I can go pick up the meds now and bring them right up. If you want. Well, which one is, which one is better for you? Because it's, I mean, you know, it's the, the process here is a lot faster because you're, and you're already in the system there anyway. So, um, if we do the paperwork, um, where, remind me of where 
Yeah, remind me where where do you, what area of town do you live in? Oh. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, why don't I do this? Um, this might actually be the easiest thing. I will bring his paperwork with me. We can do the paperwork. Um, I can meet you because I actually have to come back across town um, after we bring the dogs back to pack. So I can actually just take him with me and I can come to you. I'll have his med, I'll call after we hang up, I'll call the, the clinic and have his meds drawn. Um, and then I will get somebody on the phone to put all of your stuff in because um, I have all of your information. Um, and then I can just simply bring the paperwork with me and then you can fill it out and then I will just take pictures of it and send it to the person I need to send it to a pack. And that way you don't have to make a trip up here and out to pack or just out to pack. It just it should just be faster all the way around. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I will do that. Um, so it will be, I want to say probably between um, 4.30 and 5. Is that, does that work for you? Is that okay? Okay, fantastic. Excited. So he'll still be able to come up here like occasionally. Cool. I don't even have to say my goodbyes. <laughs> well, I've gotten very attached to him. I I think so too. I think um, it's it's with him. It's all about the visual, you know, because he's just such a goofy little dude. Um, I'm also I'm gonna tell them to fill um, uh, a round of doxy because he's been. He was a little sneezy yesterday, but I figured with all the wind we had, it might have been allergies, and today he, he's coughed a few times. So I'm gonna go ahead and have them fill that as well and give it to you that way if he starts to look like he needs it or if you just wanna put him on, on it prophylactically. Um, but that way you'll have it and not have to make a run out there for it. Okay, all right, awesome. All right, well, I will be in touch with you um, when I'm getting ready to leave. That way we can, I can figure out what we're gonna need and stuff. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, adoption would have been better, but this is absolutely the next best thing yes. for him. Yes. I'm so excited. Yay. For Baloo, he is not going back to the shelter. Well, he's going, but he's not staying. So I'm gonna have to put you in a crate on, once we get back there. You're not gonna understand what the hell's happening. Because. I'll let him ride shotgun in the car, but then I might have to put him in the crate when I go and get all the stuff that I need. Yeah. yeah he's probably not going to like that a whole lot. <laughs> but that's okay. She lives at Broadway and Craycroft. She's actually out near me. So. All right. So I need. Yeah, she's going, so this lady has fostered for PAC before, and what I love about this foster is that she gets Wyatt's phone call for them to continue coming up here. So she she will bring them, Aww. she brings the dog up here in the morning, drops them off and comes back and gets them in the afternoon. Oh, that's so lovely. So yeah, and meanwhile at home, she takes really fantastic pictures and she does videos on them um, and all of she's that sort of her thing. Own yeah, she, she's what, if, if PAC could like, and pick fosters as, as to the, by their skill set. She, they would like model them all after her. Um, and Brian. Well, Brian, Brian fosters for Cherished Tales. Yeah. He's, He's a, a creator. creator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if it wasn't for Cherished Tales, we would probably never have met because he was coming on Tuesdays. He's a creator. <laughs> <laughs> but he was he brought dogs up on Tuesdays oh. um, here when it was for fosters. Um, so he brought dogs that he was fostering for Cherished Tales. I don't even, how did we meet? How did you end up coming up here? Well, they told me that Tuesdays, because. Because uh, we, yeah, that's right, because we were going to stop doing. I forgot, uh, and then, so I, I said, well, I want to volunteer, so. Yeah. Uh, Thursdays, I said, well, that's what's for me. So. And now it's like, I can't imagine what you're going to happen. No. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what day. Really, I just, I just blew up how amazing you are. Now you're gonna tell me. No, I mean, one day I'm gonna. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow. I'm gonna get that key. <laughs> yeah. She still has that key. Oh, you have the key. Yeah, she gave oh. it back to me. I love that picture of Elbow. 
You know what's cool is I didn't do anything with that, but do you remember how cloudy the eyes were? They were all white. Yeah. And I love that the, the app just kind of made them like little dark purple. Like, yeah. To me, he looks younger than, than when he was actually oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You know, that stupid bench outside the door was flipped around. We could have sat up there. I, we turned it around a few times and they keep turning it back. I know. You know, here's, here's what one of the guys told me, because I, I give him all kinds of hell about it. And he says, yeah, but the one on the other end, I said, yeah, but the one on the other end has a good view. This one just looks like a parking lot. Yeah. There's nothing to look at. It's like, well, you make a good point, but I they know. don't match that way. I'm like, oh my God, it seriously? No one notices it. It's a big thing he would like to lay in the sun or something. Right? Does he have um, oh, like so a in the rapper camera? No, he's in one of the meeting rooms. So, but he gets a lot of love. Does he? Oh yes. And Cheyenne's bad boy. She looked terrible this morning. She was in in with him. She was in the room with him. She didn't even notice that we were, that I went in to leash him up. Yeah, you know how she is. She's usually like, oh, I'm gonna go with you. I'll just push yeah. past you. Yeah. 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 She so she went home as I don't know if it was a pre-adoption or as an adoption, and it was. I don't really know why. They said vomiting and diarrhea, but she's not on any special protocols from what I could see, so I'm not sure that I believe that. Yeah. So, um, all right. I need to find out. Another great Sunday. We're two Sundays in a row. Yeah. Two dogs out. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Pat. Pat's brought the manager. I think the dogs brought the manager. I'm getting together a little bit closer with King Koopa. What's that? King Koopa loves me in the kennel. Yeah, does bit. he? Oh, that's he awesome. He yells at me <laughs> a lot. That's really but at least... You know, they, so they moved him out to Harry's Haven now, right? Yeah, That's where he's, he's kind of like. So I did ask Jamie to do that um, a couple weeks ago after we brought him back. Yeah. I said, I can't bring him up. I said, and he hates walks. I said, could you put him in one that's got an indoor outdoor option so that if he wants the sun, you know. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's kind of a, yeah. I was nervous about weather because it was, I, I was thinking maybe he might see a lot of people and get freaked out about that. Right. But it's got, like you said, it's got the sun, so... Yeah, that's that's the thing. I figured at least that way he could have that fresh air because he doesn't get very much. He walks right. out. When he was still in the, the main Phase 2 center part, they would take him right outside, and he'd go potty right there by Harry's Haven, just the trees right outside the door, and he'd come right back in. He just didn't... He wouldn't go anywhere. And you can't take an 80-pound dog out that's going to flatline on your, you know, flat pancake on you out in the park because what do you do? You can't just throw him over your shoulder and carry him back. Yeah. I've had that experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he barks some, but um, I think if you get him to settle down a little bit, then, then he's Yeah, I think, bad. you know, the fact that he was just thrown out in a backyard, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't know what's okay and what's not okay and, you know, all the things. When I go in there with him, he doesn't have seizures, you know, so so I, I think that he might be okay with me being there. I, I, I don't know. He yells at me a lot. Right. Yeah. I need to get 
a hold of somebody. Um, I've got um, Lindsay, who was Prindle's uh, foster, and is going to take Blue. And so I'm actually going to take him to her because she lives over by well, over my area. Um, she's a Broadway and Craycroft. So when I come back, I need to get his. He's on a couple of meds, but I also need to get Doxy for him because he's been coughing today. I was gonna I was gonna go over there and um, or put it in the book today when we brought him back anyway. So and she doesn't have any other animals, so she's fine with him. You know, being on the meds and stuff there. And my wife um, Yeah, forever. if you don't mind, that'd be awesome. Okay, okay, so it's uh, for arthritis? Yeah. in your hands or? I I I got out of in the last three or four months. I'm like, I can do that. Um, yeah, so it's for Baloo, B-A-L-O-O. Um, well, you did. I got text myself that right now. Um, what were you taking? And then whatever he's on, I believe it is. Uh -oh. oh, I'm on it. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> last night with all the punctuation made that sentence so funny about Eli just got home from sushi. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, hold on. Um, actually, I can't, I don't know whether they have to look it up in the other Oh, wait, I've got his medical here. Um, so it's phenobarbital and um, <laughs> Yeah, they they do well. Yeah, he's going to foster anyway, so that probably a month is what I'm assuming. Um, he's a gobbler. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it, and then I'll bring him and the dog, and I'll have her. Actually, can you can you look her up? 